We are now a few weeks into the new decade, and the NFL will certainly change a lot within the next five years. Tom Brady, no matter how much he says he wants to play until age whatever, will be gone, as will Drew Brees, Phillip Rivers, Ben Roethlisberger, and more than likely Aaron Rodgers as well. With players like Andrew Luck, Luke Kuechly, and Rob Gronkowski all retiring at or before the age of 30, we'll probably end up losing a couple of players that are the young guns in the NFL at the time I released this video as well. And that's no shade thrown at Andrew, Luke, or Gronk, I completely understand their decision to retire young and to be around for the people they care about most. But the reality is the NFL will be at a much different place in 5 years than it is now. Which brings us to the topic of today's video, is who will be the best players in 5 years, in 2025. Before we get started though, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as all support is very much appreciated. Now with that being said, let's begin. We're starting off today's video by saying who's not going to be on this list. The reality is Quentin Nelson in early 2020 is a two-time first team All-Pro and a two-time Pro Bowler to start his career and is on a Hall of Fame path if he keeps this up. But I'm not going to talk about him and how good of a guard he is because the reality is that's not what you guys, the viewers, want to hear. He will be a top player in 2025 if he stays healthy. Instead, I'm going to start the video with the obvious answer, and that's Patrick Mahomes. In nearly two full years starting, he has compiled a record of 24-7, and and the Chiefs are going to the Super Bowl in just his second season starting. Patrick is just 24 years old, and in his only full season of starting, he threw for 50 touchdowns, won an MVP, and the Chiefs were the number one seed. In the 2025 season, he will turn 30 years old, and there's no reason not to pick him to be one of the best players in the NFL by then. I don't think Patrick will be able to put up 50 passing touchdowns every year between now and then, but I don't think 35 per year is out of the occasion. He could be a multiple-time champion and a multiple-time MVP by then as well. Of course, if we revisit this video in 5 years, things will be different, such as how much money did he get in his contract extension, will Travis Kelsey still be around or even on the Chiefs, and how does Tyreek Hill's career play out? Those are answers we'll have in 5 years, but for now, Patrick Mahomes projects to be one of, if not the best player during the 2020s. The next player that will be among the NFL's best in 2025, and this is the last obvious one I will do, is Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson. Lamar had the best season a mobile quarterback has ever had in 2019, and will win the MVP. Assuming he stays healthy and given he is just 23 years old, he will still be among the league's best in 2025. He threw 36 touchdowns in 2019 and answered the question of whether or not he could consistently throw the football. A narrative surrounding him at the time of this video release is that Lamar can't win a playoff game, and I hope we revisit this at the end of the 2025 season and this narrative is just a thing of the past. Lamar ran for over 1,200 yards in his first full season starting, and I don't think he'll be able to keep that up every year by any means, but him to rush for 7 to 800 isn't out of the question. At some point, I would imagine the Ravens won't want their franchise quarterback taking an extra 175 hits per year, and they'll try to keep his running to just situational, but for now, Lamar is coming off of an MVP year in which he had 43 total touchdowns, and he looks to be the future of the position with the aforementioned Patrick Mahomes. The next player that will be a top player in 2025, and this is the only college player I will have in this video, is Clemson quarterback Trevor Lawrence. Trevor has a career touchdown to interception ratio of 66 to 12, and if he stays healthy, will be the number one overall pick in 2021. He has completed over 65% of his passes during his college career, and he will be a highly touted prospect. I, like everyone, think his game will transfer fluently, and he will have success in the NFL. To the extent I don't know, but I'm really hoping for his sake he doesn't go to an abysmal franchise and that they put good weapons around him. Trevor may be the best prospect since Peyton Manning, and I hope he lives up to expectations. As to which team he plays for, I don't know, as anything can happen, as I don't think anyone saw the Bengals being as bad as they were in 2019, and the consensus in September was the Dolphins would get the number one overall pick. So whichever team Trevor goes to, they will be getting a great prospect, and I hope they don't waste his talent and that he can deliver and be one of the best players in the NFL in 2025. The next player that will be a top player in 2025 is Giants running back Saquon Barkley. Saquon was injured in 2019, but what he did in a healthy rookie season was unbelievable, and assuming he stays healthy over the next 4 or 5 seasons, he will get back to the top form he was in his rookie year. He had over 2,000 total yards, and with a young quarterback in Daniel Jones who will be the giant starter for at least the next 2 seasons and maybe beyond that, he will lean on him heavily. 
Saquon will certainly get the opportunities and should be able to produce year in and year out and be a consistent 1600 total yard player with at minimum 10 total touchdowns in every season. If he does that, and that's at minimum in my opinion, for the next 5 years that would put him at over 8000 total yards and over 50 total touchdowns through the 2025 season. We all know Saquon has the ability and we all know that and the only thing that will stop him from being a top player by then is health. He will be just 28 years old and he won't hit the dreaded 30 year old mark until 2027 so I think Saquon is a pretty safe pick to be a top player in 2025. The next player that will be a top player in 2025 is Broncos wide receiver Cortland Sutton. Cortland in his first two years has a 1,000 yard season to his name, and with Drew Locke going 4-1 down the stretch to end the 2019 season, he looks to be in good hands for his future. I would imagine these two will be working to get great chemistry this offseason and are trying to be the future of Broncos football. Sutton has 10 touchdowns in his first two years, and I think it's reasonable for Cortland to get 10 touchdowns a year at least a few times over the next five years. We've said it before about teams having their guy at quarterback, but I truly believe Elway has his guy at the QB position in Drew Locke. Sutton is the boldest prediction in this video in terms of being a top player in 2025, but if he flames out and I'm wrong, then that's something I'm willing to live with. Playing 6 games per year against the Chiefs, Raiders, and Chargers, and 8 games per year where opponents will be affected by the altitude and a young quarterback Sutton will grow with adds up to a lethal combination in the near future. Expect big things from Cortland Sutton in the next few years and for him to be a top player by 2025. The next player that will be a top player by 2025 is Nick Bosa. Bosa will be playing in his first Super Bowl next Sunday and he was an absolute wrecking ball during his rookie season. He's only 22 years old and with his future and his team's future looking as bright as they want it to be, the sky is the limit for Bosa. He's an unbelievable player and for him to put up 14 or more sacks for multiple years in a row is not out of the question, as we've already got a glimpse at what he can be. He had 9 sacks in his rookie year, and that will likely be his least productive year, barring injury of course, as a pro and I fully expect 2020 to be his first year of numerous times in his career to be in double digits for sacks. No disrespect to another former Buckeye and Chase Young, I didn't include him in this video though I will talk about him quickly, as right now it looks like he will go to Washington at number 2 overall, and with Ron Rivera being the new head coach and on a stacked defensive line, Young should get plenty of opportunities and early. The Redskins are notorious for being a bad franchise since Dan Snyder took over, but the reality is I don't think they can even mess up a player as great as Chase Young is. I don't doubt that Chase Young has 50 or more sacks by the end of the 2025 season, he's that good. The next player that will be a top player in 5 years is Colts linebacker Darius Leonard. Darius Leonard in his first two seasons is a two-time All-Pro and a one-time, should be two-time, Pro Bowler. He has 284 tackles, 12 sacks, 6 forced fumbles, and 7 interceptions in the first 2 years of his career. Most linebackers would take that as a 2 year prime, but that's how Leonard has started his career, which is insanely impressive. If Leonard keeps this up or even something close to this, he will be the league's premier linebacker for the foreseeable future now that Luke Keekley has hung up his cleats. Darius will be just 25 years old at the start of the 2020 season, and his future is as bright as he wants it to be. As a fan of a team that only plays him once every 4 years, I'm glad I can truly appreciate how great of a player he is and will become in the next half decade. I wouldn't want to face this guy twice a year, and assuming Leonard stays healthy, he will still be a great player in 2025. The final player we'll discuss in today's video is Tredavious White of the Buffalo Bills. Tredavious White is just 25 years old and in 2019 was a first team all pro and a pro bowler. He finished tied for the league lead in interceptions with 6 and 2019 proved to be a breakout year for him. He has been steadily improving since he was a first round pick out of LSU back in 2017 and hopefully he keeps growing as a player. I wanted to add a player in the secondary for this video and there were other contenders such as Marlon Humphrey of the Ravens, Jamal Adams of the Jets, maybe another team soon, and Derwin James of the Chargers. All of these guys were deserving and ultimately I went with Trey to be a top player in 2025. A draft prospect named Isaiah Simmons out of Clemson deserves some recognition too because he will be a phenomenal player in the NFL for quite some time. 
but Tredavious White is a great franchise corner and looks to be the future of the position at this time. That's all I have for today's video. Some other players up for consideration were Joe Burrow, Christian McCaffrey, Jerry Judy, TJ Hawkinson, Josh Allen of the Jaguars, and Roquan Smith of the Bears. All of these guys are going to be great in the NFL and probably will all be top players in 2025. Anyway, that's all I have. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.